technology will make it easy for taxpayers to pay. And there wouldn't be opportunities for people to um, collude and evade tax. And I'm saying this looking at you guys in your eyes. You know that it has been difficult to roll out technology, that it has been sabotaged by staff in Kerry. And it hasn't been sabotaged for any good reason. It has been sabotaged because it seals loopholes of rent-seeking, evasion, collusion, corruption, and that kind of thing. In particular, the resistance to the introduction and upgrading of revenue administration technologies is an emphatic signal of the corporate culture of an organization that is not willing to do its job, which suggests that arbitrary, arbitrary, opaque, and fundamentally corruptible revenue collection methods are the preferred modus operandi. It is expected that high costs will be cited as the excuse, because I keep hearing, oh, you do not, we do not have enough money to do this, we do not have enough money to do that. But I remember having a meeting with the acting CG and the staff members who came to see me, and, and I gave them a simple example. I, I asked them, the people who do betting, because those people who do betting, betting, they pay staff at KRA. And you know they do. So that they don't have to pay all the taxes that are due to the government of Kenya. So I asked, why don't, why don't, we, why don't we digitize? Why don't we why don't we sit down with uh, Safaricom and tell Safaricom, look, as these people bet, why, don't we, why do we have to wait up to 20th? Why, why don't we split? As somebody is betting, we know what tax is. Let us uh, integrate the system with, between KRA, uh, Safaricom, and the betting companies when uh, somebody places a bet, you know, the money for betting goes this way, the taxes go the other way, and everybody is good, and we don't have to have a meeting on the 20th of every month. We can finish that business instantly. You know, we did that, and the numbers that are being paid by our betting companies has changed. Why did I have to do that? I am not a member of KRA. Are you telling me that there aren't intelligent people in KRA who should have thought about that? Or they thought about it, but instead of collecting money for the government of Kenya, they decided to collect money for themselves. My friends, you know what I'm saying is true, don't you? And if you doubt, I can come and tell you who it is that has been paid this money. So, and, and I have come here to have a, a, a honest conversation with you. And I will not accept that you telling me that uh, technology is difficult. How much money did we have to spend to get the betting companies to pay their full share of revenue that they are supposed to do? It costs us nothing. It is a commitment to do it that we need. 
And therefore, we all know what's going on, don't we? A culture of corruption, good people, collusion, inefficiency, and unprofessionalism is much more costly to the country than any efficient technology will ever be. And I'm telling you this uh, with a lot of clarity. It is therefore imperative that the authority urgently undertakes serious and effective culture change throughout the organization and expeditiously adopts and implements the best technologies to facilitate efficient revenue mobilization. I had a long chat last week. Not, not last week, this week, is it? Yeah, this week, with the management of KRA. And, I, and I, we, we went through the motions. We are having another meeting. When is it? The other week on Monday. Because I have to be honest with you, I have to be candid because I have a job to do. And I need us to work in concert. I need us to work with synergy so that you can do your part in building our nation by doing what the government of Kenya has hired you to do. efficient, professional, effective. Kenyans expect us to expeditiously deliver on what we need to do. And let me say, that expectation is legitimate. Kenyans expect knowledge, they deserve knowledge, and they are entitled to knowledge. But the problem is not confined to carry. The government in general must do much more to build public confidence that it can and will manage public resources honestly, efficiently, transparently, and accountably. The Constitution mandates it, the law requires it, and basic decency demands us to do it. The big question that many Kenyans ask me 